Hi guys, I hope you're good. I hope you're great. I hope you're feeling blessed. It's your sister Portia Mahal again. Oh guys, we continue. I have been getting messages from people that ask me this question. Do I think that all Sangomas are evil? Or am I saying all Sangomas are evil or ancestors don't exist? I'm saying all the time, this is the same answer that I'll always give. I am saying this is my truth, this is my story, and this is my experience. I'm giving you my experience, and out of my experience, I'm judging the journey. And you must remember, my life and my journey and my story and my experience was not basically about me alone. There were a lot of Sangomas along the journey because I was the Sangoma. So same applies with Christianity. I raised facts I, based on my life. I raised facts about my life and my journey. I am not going to stand here and say, no, guys, uh, don't be Sangomas. I'm just telling you my story. Out of my own story, you choose whatever you want. Of course, guys, we will always know this. Grace has appeared for all men, but it takes God. It, you know, that the transformation and conversion of a person is an act of God. That I'll keep repeating. We plant the seed by speaking, by telling uh, uh, people the good news and planting the seed. But it is God's Holy Spirit that convicts a sinner or, or, or of their their sins you know it convicts them it convicts their heart and it is the holy spirit again that works in them to transform their life by 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 by, by believing and living the word of god my journey is not only focusing on the bad only of sangomahood but it also focuses on pastors because i've traveled like I, it's not a secret. I, I traveled, I met pastors. I met pastors that are still pastors, big pastors that I know and they, that they are not pastors from God and of God because they bowed, you know, they have bowed uh to 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 idols and they they have sold their souls they 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 are they are servants to a dark kingdom and acting like like sheep when they know they are hooves in sheep's clothing so i am basically talking about my spiritual journey spirituality shouldn't be something that one sees uh as a personal attack or an attack for, 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 for other people. My journey is not about that, but my journey is about me, of my own observation based on my own life story. Everything that you believe in comes to be. It's as simple as that. My faith in God, it's my hope in something that is not sin. My faith is in God who is unseen. It is by this faith that I believe that everything was framed by the word of God. If you if you read the book of Hebrews chapter uh, chapter eleven verse one going down the whole the the whole of faith the whole um, chapter of Hebrews chapter eleven tells you more about their faith that we profess. As Christians but again the Word of God has warned us that along the way there are those you must remember the Bible talks about familiar spirits people will ask how come and why is it that we used to do like I told you guys I used to do things there are people that from my shrine got children there are people that from my shrine uh, got marriages there are people from my shrine that uh, were able to break marriages there are people from my shrine that were able to get promotion familiar spirit work like they are magical they are miracles they work like they are of god but they not they are just familiar spirit so we do not debate about is it of god or not because it is not of god you must remember we're talking about 
miracles that are not coming from God, but coming from a created being, Satan himself. And Satan, the Bible says the gifts of God are irrevocable. So Satan was a, a, an archangel, you know, and I don't even want to glorify him him by continuously mentioning him and what he does what he doesn't do but i will talk of the 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 the, the things that the spiritual wars that we face all because of him that are happening in our today's lives so you cannot say based on my story you choose your journey no what i can tell you is the lord jesus says you did not choose me i chose you God alone will work in people's heart. God, be it from my own story, be it from somebody's story, be it from somebody's life, your story is within the plan of God and the will of God. Everything happens according to the counsel of God's will. That is why I'm here telling my own story the way I saw it. That is why I didn't want people saying, no, because you're Christian, you're judging us based on this and that. Today, I wanted us to discuss something very, very important based on the knowledge. I call it the African knowledge of people that will come out and say, no, white people came to Africa with the Bible. Yeah, an African man is like this and this. I have a few questions. Let me show you something. If white people are the ones that came with the Bible, if white people are the ones whose, whose God is in the Bible, why is it we all bleed? Why do we have same color of blood? Why is it when a woman who is pregnant in labor pain, be it white or black, they both scream and everything that Genesis chapter 3 says about a woman's childbirth is happening to both, uh, to both races. Why is it not only affecting a white woman because the Bible came with whites? Why is this God of the Bible not only affecting the, the white people, especially when it comes to labor? Simple question, nothing aligned to it, just that question. Why is it our blood is all red? One. Two, why is it what God says in Genesis chapter 3 unfolds to all races? Why is it not only affecting a white person because the Bible came to Africa with white people? That is my question. The other thing that I wanted to help uh, our brothers and sisters out there that always question but not reading. And it is important to read scripture, to understand it, to read scripture being directed by the Holy Spirit, you must ask God to explain and reveal his word to you, provided you have repented from your own understanding and your own knowledge, because it's not going to work for you. You will, you will not read scripture to understand scripture. You will apply your own carnal understanding, which sometimes works against us. People will be like, why are we black? Why are we white? Why are we what, what? All this is not new. Scripture, I want somebody to read Genesis chapter 9, 10, 11. And then when you come across the Tower of Babel, when God and they wanted to build the Tower of Babel. And God came down and said, let us confuse them, their language, so they will not work together and do this destruction and disobedience that they want to do. God scattered people. That's how people became Zulus. People became Tswanas. People became uh, Spedis. People, 
all these languages were part of God's doing. It's not a new thing. I'm not black because I'm coming from a different spirituality journey. Or No, no, no. It was all in God's divine plan to make us like this. Yes, we are different and we embrace each other's cultures, but we should not condone demonic paganism that was taken by our forefathers of course forefathers from you must remember we we're not coming from anything but and except adam and eve and the israelite people the israelite people were always in captivity in egypt where they were learning all these paganism worship and they were bringing it all along every time they were coming out from 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 captivity they were they had adopted all these behaviors everything that you see in Sangomaud it's not something new or something that only african belong to africans no it's not new these are part of paganism that we were adopting as god's children as we were coming along so please my darlings, my family, my friends, everything under the sun is not new. The word of God reveals everything. That's why the Bible is the history of, of you know, of God's working in his, his children's lives. There is absolutely nothing new that is happening, that is happening now. We just need to align ourselves with the will of God and his word. In that way, we will have better and more understanding. How do you believe Old Testament and not understand Old Testament kept revealing the disobedience of the Israelites? Kept, it kept, you know, it keeps reminding if there is records of them being disobedient. They're disobedient. There is records of them asking Aaron to make a cow for them so that they will worship something they see. Something, it was a golden calf yesterday. Today, drinking of bloods of goats. It, it's it, before Jesus. There were, there were things that were done. I will, okay, I will give Bible studies or, or on, set, on other episodes so that we go through these things. And you understand, nothing that Africans are doing is new. It's pure paganism, pure demonic things that we adopted along the way. God has been God. Self-existent. God doesn't rely on anybody. And God is not new. We actually found God in existence. So everything that he wrote in his word, through the man that he had chosen, inspired by the Holy Spirit, has revealed everything that we need to know. The Bible is a holy book. The Bible is a love book. The Bible is a manual that a human being needs to live in this life. When you go to a store, when you go to a garage to purchase yourself a Mercedes-Benz, you are going to get a manual of that car inside your cab, inside your car, it, wherever they may place it. You are going to get a manual for that car and it will tell you how to take care of the car. It will tell you all this, everything that concerns that car that you bought. If you go and buy a pair of shoes, you are going to find a leaflet inside your box that will direct you on how to take it instructions of how to take care of your your pair of shoes so is god god molded us he is the porter you know he created us and he gave us a manual of how to live in this journey the path of life so we cannot want to know better and more than god and everything that god wanted us to say he preserved it in his holy word and it is up to you to reject it or to accept it god is good he loves us so much that he gave his only begotten can you believe that that's so awesome to know that he loved us so selflessly that he gave us himself. Thank you guys for watching. And keep sharing, keep tuning in 
for more i'll keep sharing on different topics and telling you my story there and there because like i told you it's a spiritual warfare it's not an easy journey i love you guys thank you so much remember god loves you more